Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on whole brain emulation. Whole brain emulation is a concept that has fascinated scientists and philosophers for decades, and it refers to the hypothetical process of creating a digital copy of a human brain that could be run on a computer. In this video, we'll explore what whole brain emulation is, why it's important, and what the future might hold for this technology. What is whole brain emulation? To understand whole brain emulation, we need to first understand how the brain works. The brain is made up of billions of neurons, which communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. These signals create complex patterns of activity that give rise to our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Whole brain emulation involves mapping all the connections and interactions between neurons in a human brain and using that information to create a digital copy of the brain's activity. This digital copy could then be run on a computer, creating a virtual brain that behaves and thinks like a real human brain. Why is whole brain emulation important? Whole brain emulation has the potential to revolutionize many areas of science and technology. For example, it could help us better understand the brain and how it works, leading to new insights into the treatment of neurological disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It could also enable us to create intelligent machines that think and reason like humans, leading to advances in fields like artificial intelligence and robotics. And, it could even offer a way for us to achieve digital immortality, allowing our consciousness to live on in a virtual world even after our physical bodies have died. Challenges and Limitations Of course, there are many challenges and limitations to whole brain emulation. For one, Mapping the complex connections between neurons in the brain is an incredibly difficult and time-consuming task that we're only just beginning to make progress on. Even if we were able to map the brain, there are still questions about whether a digital copy of a brain could ever truly replicate the complexity and richness of human consciousness. And, even if we could create a digital brain, there are questions about how we would transfer our consciousness into it and whether that consciousness would be truly us. In conclusion, Whole brain emulation is a fascinating concept that has the potential to transform our understanding of the brain and revolutionize many areas of science and technology. However, there are still many challenges and limitations to overcome, and it remains to be seen whether we'll ever be able to create a truly accurate digital copy of a human brain. Nonetheless, it's an exciting area of research that's worth keeping an eye on in the coming years. Thanks for watching.